Welcome to the bootcamp on commodities trading by No Academy. This is Levi Alexander. The title of the bootcamp is Foundations of Commodities and Forex Trading. This is where you will learn all the basics about commodities trading and it will be presented to you over the over a, a period of one month uh, using 10 different courses. This is an all-inclusive program in a way that it touches on all the basic rules and foundations and tools that you need to know about before you start really getting your feet wet and do actual trading. And we consider these information or this training, these uh, knowledge as necessary for your survival and for your future success. That includes commodity. And when we say commodity, we mean on one end, we will go over the futures contract, and on, on, on another end, we will also go over options contract. These are the different type of asset you can trade using options and futures and commodity per se, although legally Forex is also under commodity, but in terms of market and economic uh, status, Forex has created its own market where they refer to Forex as a Forex market. Because of that reason, we will consider it as a separate um, category. And then finally, we will also cover cryptocurrency uh, trading broadly, where we will offer all the basic foundations you need to know. And all of that, to some extent, can be argued to be part of the commodity fleet. But that's also up for our argument because uh, currently uh, Congress has not fully clarified uh, the territory that where cryptocurrency could be considered as uh, securities or commodity. And that matters because it's creating a lot of um, confusion as to interpret them legally. But from a market standpoint, um, there has been a lot of trading happening in the option market and futures market where cryptocurrency has been used as an underlying asset. So for all reason and purposes, we are going to consider cryptocurrency for, uh, uh, in the sense of that training as a commodity. But we will remain closely to BTC because BTC is most uh, widely accepted as a commodity. Now, when we say commodities, as I said earlier, we include futures and options. Each of them includes their own different style of trading and uh, requirements, including market size. Forex is the biggest market of all. We will learn all the foundations. And then for the crypto trading, we will get into spot trading, derivative trading, and also net NFTs, which is not popular, but also another source of way people can make money using crypto. Now, let me introduce to you the world map of the way we see it as a trader when it comes to being successful. Um, let me begin by saying that all great stories usually begin with one small but very powerful step, a decision to act. This is something you've done today. We congratulate you for making the, this important decision to continue to learn or to enrich your knowledge and understanding. This is crucial and a lot of time traders miss out on that part by being so intensely involved with trading that they forget about learning how to trade or continuing to learn how to trade where they turn around and revolve around the same techniques and tools while the market continue to evolve and before you know it at one point they become more like um, uh, a deja vu or old news because as the market evolved they didn't keep up so Learning is a key component of success, and that, that's why we put it as number one. First, you want to learn the right skills, because the wrong one costs you money, obviously. The second thing you want to do is to continue. You always want to continue to learn, and you have to maintain that mentality, because remember, the market does not stay in one state. It continues to evolve. You need to evolve along with the market. and. The second and the third one is mostly about management. 
where you need to learn about how to manage your portfolio and how to control the use of funds coming in and out of your portfolio. These are skills that uh, thankfully exist already, but you just need to make sure you apply them because they give good results. And last and not least, uh, principles. Uh, there have been some principles widely accepted and that has been tested over time as good principles to trade. And um, you'd like to, you definitely want to at least learn them. You owe it to yourself. And then you also want to learn, keep learning actually, tricks and tips in the industry that works. And as they evolve and changes, you also learn new tricks and, and tips. That's how the game works. Now that we are presenting your bootcamp, we'd like to cl clarify that we're not going to turn you into a successful trader. We will turn you into a knowledgeable person in terms of basic understanding. The trading happens in the action. So what we do is, is, is giving you the knowledge. It's, it's true. The way you say that is understanding that it's true that no one single bootcamp can alone be sufficient to guarantee your success. So no matter how many training or boot camps you, you take, there are certain parts that will only depend on you. As you can see on our table, our job is only one, which is to te teaching you. However, look at your side. It's eight things you will need to do. Number one, you need to do the learning after we do the teaching, meaning listening to this lecture is great, but learning it will take a little more than just listening and understanding. You need to memorize you need to process, you need to develop full understanding, and you need to make it make sense in your system. What I'm saying is, even when something is logical to us, we are trained to still abide by habits, meaning a routine. What we are used to do, our body naturally lean toward repeating the same thing, even if it's a mistake. In order to correct that, those mistakes or wrong information you will need to practice the new ones over time until it becomes a habit except this time it becomes good habits because old habits have a way to come back no matter how many times you want to push them off you probably have heard stories uh, maybe related to addictions or or, or other uh, uh, pathology uh, called behavioral problem where people wanted to change and they want they understand the change they need to make it just that their mind is not uh, registering yet or getting in line with what the what you wanted to do and it's 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 a it's a powerful thing habit is 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 the king of your mind therefore you want to learn by repeating things over and over over and it takes time the second thing is practicing and perfecting. After you've learned and then you develop a practice, you need to continue to work on your drill and keep thinking a new way, keep acting a new way, and also make sure you develop better understanding each time so you perfect what you understand and master. So it's the grow process. It's a growing process. The, the third thing is, is unrelated to skills. It has to do with you. You, my friend. Um, you're going to sometimes be your worst enemy in trading and probably in other areas of your life. I don't want to get into your personal life, but in trading, what has been proven is most people who have lost money, it's because they didn't understand the psychology of trading, meaning themselves, how their own um, ego get in the way and created some sentiment that's not going to help you with making sound judgment. You will you will find a lot of yourself in a lot of situations where you see clearly how you messed up, but you still messed up. You still miss that trade, even if it made sense for you to get that trade. It's just that maybe you had a fear factor that held you too long, or another fear factor that made you move too fast. One or the other will not be related to skills because at the end you will understand what happened to you. But your loss will be closely related to your behavior, meaning your ability to control your, your inability to control your behavior, actually, where you act too fast or too slow because of fear. Fear is known to be one of the worst enemies of humankind. 
because it makes you act on on emotion instead of logic and usually these emotions comes from a, a wrong place so you you want to maintain self control meaning get a get a, get your fear under control really literally Number four is disciplined. Uh, discipline is a habit, um, good habit that you practice and you maintain, and then that that happens in order, in orderly fashion. As in, as with anything else in life, you need to be disciplined to be a, a successful trader. Number five is you need to take risk. Um, most of the time, we are too risk averse and adver adverse, and and that's that's logical. That's logical when you could take into consideration the number three that I just spoke about, which is applying self-control. When you realize that um, taking risk will will be required because every time you take a trade, it's a risk. But because of fear, there is a lot of risk that you should take that would have worked for you that you will not take because your mind is telling you you're going to lose when you're going to win. Therefore, you really want to make sure that at least you control your level of risk in terms of be more open to risk because risk comes with reward. You just need to control your risk reward ratio. Make sure your reward is always at a very comfortable level, placing you in a, in a better uh, position to win. Number six is develop a thick skin. Every time you lose, it should be a way for you to learn and be better to making more money. But a lot of time we do something, we do quite the opposite. Every time we lose, we consider it as as a failure, as something that confirmed that we will not win. That's not what it means. It means that we we are, we are learning something and we something we didn't know before. So never consider lose as a loss, but more like as a gain in terms of knowledge. And never make it about yourself. It's about trading. And the more you remove yourself from that assessment, the better you will be as a trader. Number seven is um, to never give up. I can share with you tons of stories and you probably have your own as well stories that tells you how many times people in history have overcome their fear and and they have shown resilience and never give up no matter what happened in, in, in their life and they were able to enjoy the fruit of their uh, labor at, in the end because they 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 stood till the end I will save save you the, the burden of going through all these stories because we have too many of them. Unfortunately, what happens is even if we've heard these stories, we every time it's us now, not the story, we tend to do the opposite of the story we admired to listen to or we got inspired by all these stories about um, how Abraham Lincoln became, became president and about... Um, uh, so many different inspiring, uh, inspir inspirational story that show you how to be resilient and, and remain um, uh, consistent and continue to believe. You love the stories, don't you? But you just don't. When it comes to the real action, when you are in the middle of it, you just don't do it. You just give up easily. And that's one thing we need to consider uh, correcting if we're going to really... Um, want to go far in trading and anything else in life but trading most importantly because it's a game of the mind and you need to control your mind to be your best to be at your best number eight is develop a system and stick to it over time as you go to different trainings and and go to a different experimentation yourself you will develop a certain um muscle memory or understanding that comes from empirical data um, that you've experimented uh, personally you will be you will be in a position where you will have certain situations that will keep repeating themselves that you will recall you've seen before that give you this result and you try it again and it, it gives you the same result again as you keep all these little tools and combine them into a process that process will create a system if it works stick to it for a while until you it doesn't work anymore um, there's a there's a there's an old saying I know it sounds lame but it's still it's still powerful if it doesn't break don't change if it's if it's not working don't change it or don't fix it 
So if it works for you, let me do it and keep doing it. If it works, it works, then do it. The problem with trying new stuff is that you don't know if it works and you're giving up something that works for something that, that you don't know that doesn't work. And a lot of time, while it could promise you rewards of better return, a lot of time it, it takes you out of your balance, out of games that you've built over time. It took you time. And then at the end, you will keep developing a habit that you don't want to develop, a habit of giving up on, on what works for adventure. And, and you might spend a lot of time trying things out, a lot of years trying new things out every time. Imagine, uh, imagine this scenario where a trader, that could be you by the way, a trader spends six months to develop a system and the system works. And then while it starts working, meaning it's time for him to get paid on the investment, which we would call in general business research, research and development, R&D, right? If you're familiar with management, you know that term. It costs money to research and develop a system that works. And then you just give it up, meaning you give up just you just give up all that system and good stuff you just you just learned. Then you start a new process that you so probably you've seen on YouTube or anywhere or maybe Reddit or some social media um, post, and you think it was cool, and you start learning this system. It takes you another six months to learn it, and you finally get it right. And by the time you get the benefit of it, you start a new one. Do you see where this is going? After 10 years, you're going to have someone who has never done anything for more than six months and has always been starting over every six months. He has started all over from scratch, kind of, because you still have the other stuff that you've learned, but it's just that you've given them up. You've given up on what you've known. So you might, you might spend 10 years, but in your real if I could if I could call it your year your age as a trader is still six months if you look at it from that perspective after ten years you're still six month old trader except a new six months because you have a new technique that just took you back to to becoming a six month again so don't be that trader be a trader that has a system and that works that allow the system to work for you after you've worked for the system to to be developed now reap the benefit for a while. And build a nice, you know, safety net and portfolio. And after you've done enough and you've earned enough, then you can move to the next techniques. All right. So to have access to to the class and also um, understanding the format of this bootcamp, first is to consider that this class is delivered to you um, based on your status. So we have three different group of people that will have three different. Um, access if you are part of the general public and you didn't even register on our website you can still access these classes but you're only gonna see three of the ten so that means the seven will still uh, be uh, private and those three classes you you will have access to you will also be able to access the quizzes however if you are a ver verified student meaning you created an account and you've been verified by our system you become official then you will have access to all 10 courses for free. And then you will also be able to use the quizzes. That also in, in, include all existing uh, verified students. As long as you are a verified student, you have access to all the courses freely. In that bootcamp plus, you have access to the quizzes and then you also get some sturdy materials. However, if you've registered for the bootcamp, meaning you are a verified student plus on top of that, you also registered for the boot, bootcamp where you paid something for that bootcamp where you do because there was a fee for it and you paid for it nominal fee but still you not not only you will have access to the to the um, courses you will have access to quizzes you also have access to the to the to the to leave a review you will also have access to do in class discussion you will also have access to the one-on-one -on -one access to the teacher you will have access to all the courses plus on top of that you will have access to to having discussion one-on-one -on -one with myself as the teacher you will also uh, be granted uh, access to assignments and final exam which i will explain in a little bit and you also have all of the study materials um, so that's the benefit of being um, uh, registered attended and on top of that you also will have um, access to 
to all the benefits which will be discussed uh, with you directly during the in the the in class discussions. Uh, we have other uh, bonuses because you've paid and we appreciate it. We have we have some things we we have in store for you as a, as a token of appreciation. Okay, that's another story. Now, for the format, we make the class interactive in a way that uh, we ask questions and then uh, we do quizzes. Uh, we we make the lecture a bit more creative as much as we could. Um, we also do live example instead of just showing you something that that we took from years ago or online even. We actually take a trade and we record it and then we post it. We also do practice, live practice. Uh, on the drills and techniques and and then those dates will be published as we go you can come to those live live um workshop and practice the the training uh the tools that we have taught and also we have the discussions that we do especially for the paid students of um, the boot camp then um, the format we have used we, we have decided to use four for, for different formats so each lecture will probably have one or two included uh, the the most popular one will be videos but we will also have certain lectures that will be presented to you as a slide um, and some other uh, presentation will be done as a pdf and then lastly you will see some articles as well so these are the formats that you will see during the through the whole um, bootcamp so it's a combination of the four different formats based on how effective one is compared to another uh, based on the message we want to um, to uh, present, and then the next point is this bootcamp is one hundred percent online. Therefore, you don't have to go anywhere. You just get on your web, on your phone or computer, any electronic device that can access the internet. You go to noacademy dot com or you go to social media where we have accounts, especially YouTube. You go to at noacademy. That's our handle. You can use that for most of our social media account. You will find us, but definitely on YouTube at No Academy as our name state. Then we make it to make it fun. The quiz is has no grading, so we take that anxiety off the table. So you can just have fun at it. Just and then you can take the quizzes as many times you want to practice the skill. So the point is not for you to to get some points to get some certificate, but it's for you to continue to practice what you've learned to. To, to, to double check to make sure that you got it right. Next is self-paced. Um, it's 24 hours, seven days a week. So you can access the classes as many times as you prefer. Now for the exam and assignment that only concerns the paid student of the bootcamp, you will be able to do the exam. But and the good news is 100% online, but it, they are method. What it means is that when we give you an assignment, they will have a time when it's due and you will have a certain amount of time to complete it online. Also, when you, the exam, once you start it, you will have a certain amount of hours or minutes to, to finish um, that exam. So just keep that in mind. Don't start until you're ready. Okay, the key benefits of the program, um, we will provide market knowledge, of course, and and the two markets we will study is Forex and commodities. Price action is our preferred tools because it's to us the core foundations of trading for all kinds of markets, which is the price changes that we follow. And it's called price action. And that's, there's a whole set of, of um, skills and knowledge that have been discovered and tested just following price bar by bar or ticks by ticks or, or candle by candle until you really get to understand patterns. The, it's based on the theory that we are creatures of habit and then we will tend to repeat everything the same way. So solid foundations in price action trading. And there's also the analysis tools that will provide you skills about how to analyze any, any major mar market. We'll go over all the different major um, analysis, analytic tools that people use to trade. And then we will talk about 
um, those principles that I mentioned earlier as far as how to trade and how to know what we are trading and why we are trading the way you are trading like universal principles and um, tools and tricks then the meta trader for which is the mental we will use to uh, through this whole training we will uh, help you set it up we will also help you understand and learn it at an expert level and the live sessions will be probably the most fun sessions because they will be real and you will see us taking actual trading and then see how it plays out so they will this will help you understand the the, the skills we are trying to teach their illustrations where they work where they don't work well, it doesn't matter, but at least you will get to understand how they are applied. As far as our agenda, we're going to follow a very closely um, guarded agenda, and it, it's as follows. The week one, uh, we will do introduction to financial markets, uh, which is something you will definitely see next to this video. And that is the date in March uh, for um, May 4th. 2023 at 8 p.m. that's when it will be posted so the way to see it is just you go back to the class and you will see it um, posted on under the course page then on that same week which is Saturday night on May 6 2023 we will post the introduction to online trading as far as week two we will help you set up with brokers account and trading platform that includes the MT4 and that will be May 8, 2023 at 8 p.m. And then the basic of market analysis tools that will be on May 10, 2023. Then week three will be a little more intense where we will actually give you core knowledge about Forex trading. That will be May 15. And then we will give you core knowledge about commodities, which is May 17 at 8 p.m. You, you probably have noticed that every time it's 8 p.m. It's just the time that we have set to post these videos so you can have full access to them. Introduction to crypto trading will be May 22nd, 2023 at 8 p.m. Introduction to price action and trends will be May 24th, 2023 again at 8 p.m. as you may have guessed it. Then last week will be the week five. You will have introduction to price action for ranges and reversals. That will be May 29th, 2023 at 8 p.m. And you will also have review and perspectives May 31st, 2021 at 8 p.m. Each of these courses will, will last about one hour, uh, more or less. Some basic rules, so we are all on the same page. Uh, we've discussed uh, the key benefits, but let's talk about the rules instead. Um, rule number one, the, all the 10 lectures will be accessible to you, to, to all No Academy students. We've made it a rule, so if you're a No Academy student, you have access to all, four, all 10 courses. Who said that rules have to be painful? Sometimes rules can be fun, and that's one of them. The, the next thing you want to keep in mind is those courses, those le lectures are pre-recorded. The live sessions will be mostly workshop and other things. Rule number two, each course will have an ungraded ungrade, un quiz next to the lecture for easy learning. Again, fun, because you're not being graded, so no anxiety, no pressure. You can take them as many times you want just to practice. Rule number three, exam, discussion forum, and one-on-one -on -one discussion with the teacher and student manual are only available to the registrants of the bootcamp. Well, that makes sense. These are people who paid for the bootcamp. They are the people who get those included in rule number three. Rule number four, uh, we encourage uh, all students to get a MetaTrader account, a demo MetaTrader account. If you want to have a real life, that's on, up to you, but the, the course only requires a demo account so you can learn uh, the things that we are teaching. And rule number five, to make the best of the experience again, actually, that's, that's a repetition, uh, a repeat um, rule, sorry. It's rule number five again, instead of six. All registered participants of the bootcamp should be aware that attendance and participations will be monitored uh, to gain a better understanding of the participant integration into the program. 
So what this means is that uh, we will be monitoring uh, the people who have paid for the bootcamp just to ensure that whatever money you've given, you get the value for it. So we will help you maintain a control of your attendance. In case you missed anything, you will know exactly what you've missed and we will assist you to help you catch up so you don't miss out and be or be left behind. So it's not to monitor you, to control you, but to help you gain insight on how you are doing and what you may have missed, you need to catch up on or, or what have you. As far as myself for biography, it's not a lot to say except that I am the president um, of Renaissance Media Group. I'm also a professional trader. I mainly trade crypto and forex, but I am uh, very um, uh, much more interested into forex on the long term than crypto because I have fallen in love with crypto last year in 2022, and I'm kind of falling out of love of, of with crypto trading not because of crypto trading as a business but with a lot of things that has been going on recently with the platform that makes sometimes uh, uh, one wonder uh, um, with the manipulation how this how far this goes so this is not the, there's no course on that now and no professional assessment except that i'm feeling a little more comfort level with the forex so that's another debate for another day as far as experience i have 23 23 years of experience in finance so basically my whole life um, basically my whole adult life has been spent uh, mainly on in finance i started out in loan originations back in 2020 2000 exactly uh, i was a loan officer and then from there i branched out to become more like a um, a jack of all trade when it comes to financing real estate but mostly on the commercial level including business financing especially small businesses as far as personal life uh, well I have two children I love them with everything I got yeah and uh, so I'm just a dad <laughs> And then I also like outdoor activities, especially walking. And I love to walk by the beach a lot. I usually do that twice a week at least. And I, I am a, a musician to some extent, amateur. I play piano a little bit, but I listen to music all day, that's for sure. And I also read every day almost. Uh, twice or one or twice a day I'm reading some books or articles that are helping me uh, improve my skills or knowledge so that's mainly overall my overall life now that we have completed uh, your introduction to the bootcamp let's see what happens when you get to our website when you get to our website if you created an account you will get to this page and this page will have uh, some menu on top if you can see the circle, this is where you would click to get to the course. And you probably have done that. And then once you've done that, you are in the, on that page. Right? So when you get to that page, what you're going to do is go down, scroll down, go down to where you say my courses. And then you click on that bootcamp. That's all. And then it takes you to this page now. When you get to this page, this is the bootcamp foundations of Forex and commodities trading. Uh, page that's what we call the course page if it's the first time you're probably a little lost about where do you go next well you just have to look at the, the the right side mostly and the right side will have a list of courses where you see uh, welcome to the bootcamp introduction that's where you would click to to, to look at your first class the, the top is a section title it doesn't really take you anywhere but the, the, the information in between are the contents and where you see the little arrow to the right, these are places where I have tested this to show that I have completed these courses. To, to complete them, really, it only meant to watch. I, I watch them, basically. That's what it meant. And then I get a check mark that says I have done so. It's very useful when you are, if you are pressed with time and you, you need to keep track of what you've seen already and what you haven't seen when there are new videos. This little hours will help you um, keep yourself um, 
uh, organized so you know what you've watched. And especially if you want to review them again, you want to review, you don't want to see a new one, you can always go back to 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 one you've watched already just to make sure you review it and, and, and keep learning. So now once you've clicked on the introduction, it would take you to this page. That's the course page where it, that's what the full screen. Then you will see now the classes or the courses now move from the right to the left. Then you can click on any of them that are live. Not all of them will be live usually because it's it's an ongoing uh, bootcamp, but definitely the welcome is available it, once we start the, the welcome is the first thing that that's posted so you could click on the opening lecture to the left top left or the introduction but once you click on the opening lecture it will bring this screen that you're looking at the big blue one that you're seeing here this is a video playing next one which is um, the introduction you can see it um, like a little uh, pdf a picture next to it icon next to it it means that if you open it, it's going to be a PDF document. We've created it in a way for you to try out different features. So once you open it, you will see a PDF. You, you can even download it on your computer or phone so you can watch it later if you don't have internet at a certain point or if you just want like to have it and print it out, whatever you like to do with it. We, we, we'd like you to try it out and see how it works. So everything that I have done in that presentation is in that PDF. Now for the quiz, always look for the little yellow flag something more like that tells you you've accomplished something so you just click on that quiz as you see here and then have fun at it remember you can take that quiz as many times as possible we hope you enjoy the course and learn a lot until then take care and have a great day